Hi folks, Baz Gary Strongman. After Tom Stoltman's world record Atlas Stone lift yesterday, I thought I'd talk about the history of the Atlas Stones um, back from ancient times up into present day and the world record as it stands. First off, congratulations to Tom. Probably one of the most impressive world records you'll see during this lockdown period and indeed ever. He really made it look easy and I think there's a lot more there. And indeed he's already talking about a 300 kilo stone and beyond. So quite incredible really, Tom. So lifting these stones goes back to ancient times and has always been a part of both Scottish and Icelandic history. Um, similarly, really, in Scottish history, uh, you've got the Manhood Stones. I won't attempt the Scottish pronunciation, but to become part of a clan, you had to lift a set stone up to waist height. Um, this was often put on a wall or pushed over a wall at waist height. Um, and the weights were, you know, different for the different clans, but there was a, a, a test in that sense. In Icelandic tradition, you had a similar thing where you had three different weights of stones. And again, this was to prove your manhood, really. I won't attempt the Icelandic words, um, but they they translate as full strength, half strength, and there's a smaller ones as well. There's a good documentary on Netflix about this called Full Strength. It talks about the stones again in that proving one's manhood, proving you at full strength. The lowest stone was actually to whether you were strong enough to go out on the fishing boats. Um, and from there, you've got also the Husafal stone, which is probably the most famous single stone in the world, um, which was used by a shepherd initially to keep his gate closed on his sheep and his little pen. Um, but historically, it's known as um, picking it up and walking around this pen as a real feat of strength, uh, first done by the farmer's daughter, I believe. So, so history tells us. Um, so back to the Scottish stones, in more recent times, uh, a guy called McGlashan made the first four stones, as it was then, ranging from 95 kilos up to the fourth stone was 130 kilos. And these stones started to feature in Highland Games. Um, shortly before they made it into the world's strongest man, which was first seen in 1986, a fifth stone was added at 140 kilos. And the first man to lift all five stones was John Paul Sigmundson. As I say, it made its debut then shortly afterwards in World's Strongest Man 1986 with the five stones. And during that tournament, only three people lifted it. Ilkan Amisto, the Finn, Jeff Capes and John Paul Sigmundson, of course, who'd already lifted the five. He, he did it faster to, to win that event. So in that first World's Strongest Man featuring the McGlashan stones, they had to lift it to about waist height. They had these big wooden barrels and that was the, the, the feat of strength then. So it was the five stones to waist height as fast as you can. Since then, they featured quite heavily in World's Strongest Man events. Um, they've always been a crowd favourite and indeed, um, to have a world's strongest man without the Atlas Stones featuring would be um, would be a shame and would would certainly lose some of the magic. I think it's is historically um, traditionally now known as one of the world's strongest men events. You know, it's, it's it's not powerlifting. We've got these events that are something a bit different. Obviously, we do have a similar deadlift, the log lift, particularly unique to strongman, and the Atlas Stones, as I say other events like the yoke, the farmer's walk, you know, really do create 
what is strongman. I know the, there's some people out there that aren't a fan of these moving events, but um, as I say, it's not powerlifting. We, these guys are strength athletes, so it's about moving big, heavy things as well as the static events. You know, it's what strongman's all about, and everyone involved in that is. You know, you might have particular events you don't like so much, but obviously got to add truck pull to that. That's another specific strongman event. So there we go. So over the years then, the stones have evolved. The platforms have got higher. The stones have got higher. And I remember it was only um, within the last decade that a 200 kilo stone was the fifth stone that was massive in the final of world's strongest man um, since then the weights have been pushed up there's been one-off world record attempts at events i remember brian shaw was the first to lift the 250 kilo stone that was a one-off event at europe's strongest man i believe it was certainly a giant's live event in the uk and brian pretty much came over just for that event um, more recently, Tom Stoltman broke the record at the Arnold Classic. Again, a one-off event of him lifting just that stone. So it kind of puts to bed the debate whether his current lift should be a world record and these ones that Thor have done and obviously Brother Luke's attempt at the log, which he narrowly missed. You know, essentially, these are world records. They're the strongest lifts ever done, the heaviest lifts ever done. And it's keeping the sport alive during this phase of lockdown. You know, people can't compete. People can't go and see competitions. It's all we've got. So, you know, I definitely think they should be recognised as world records. That's a debate for another time in the sense of needing an overall federation or something with all these different um organizations coming up now and claiming their own world records there needs to be some kind of standardization to go on but um these guys at ws are doing their best at the moment anyway to, to provide us with some form of entertainment with these world records uh you know when they're standardizing them as much as they can they're making sure they're weighing the thing stringently you know whether it's the log or the atlas stones it's all observed or the weights on the the deadlift so I think they're doing well, and I think we need to applaud it, get behind it, rather than sort of picking holes in things at the moment. So that brings us up to yesterday and Tom's amazing Atlas Stone world record. It was his world record, of course, which he did in the Arnold Classic last year. Forget, forget what day it is, never mind what year we're in. But um, the most recent Arnold Classic, I think it was the beginning of this year, 2020, um, so he's pushed his own record further and the way he did it was quite incredible his first lift was 180 kilos I believe which is phenomenal for any of us kind of starting out in strongman my biggest stone's 130 and I've only just broken the floor with it it's, it's huge and it's just so heavy you know it's not about it's not like pulling weight on a bar which you can grip nicely there's nothing to grab onto you know it's just pure strength of holding your arms and trying to hold them together with this big stone that just wants to drop through the middle. 180 kilos, absolutely ridiculous. And, and as I've mentioned, the stones going back to 1986, the heaviest one was 140, you know. So Tom's opening warm up, if you like, yesterday was 180 kilos, which he just threw like a beach ball, as, as someone else has quoted. I think it was Lawrence. Um, his second stone then it was about 15 minutes rest i think in between the second stone 250 kilos you know the the world record from a couple of years ago again so easy absolutely ridiculous um so there was no doubt he was going to lift that 286 which he did um i'll enclose a couple of pictures a couple of screenshots you can see um during the lift if you've watched it live or catch it again on core sports it's free um, as he lifted up, there was just a little twist towards the top where it was just a little bit of a struggle for him. But, you know, unless you're looking really closely, it just looked as easy as the others. And, and there's definitely more there. He said himself, he's already thinking about the 300 kilo stone when someone puts up a bit of money for him. 
and rightly so. Uh, and beyond that, you know, 320 chucked out there as well. I don't know where the limit is. It, he's already gone past the limit as far as most people would have thought, you know. No one expected to see 300 kilos. Um, as Kale Beck says on his channel, 300 kilo deadlift is, is dream stuff for most people, you know, and I'm not there yet. That's sort of my target to pick up 300 kilos on a stone that you've got no handles on, no grip. Yes, he was a bit tacky, but, you know, it's incredible. So hats off to Tom again. If you've liked my content today, please drop us a thumbs up and please subscribe for future strongman content. I'm Basil Gary Strongman. See you soon.